Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Paula. Let me hope you had a productive week um, last week and you're eager to get this week started. Thank you again for those persons who have continued to support the movement and thank you so much for my new subscribers. I really appreciate you all. So guys, today we'll be talking about the topic staying motivated. We all know it's really, really difficult to stay motivated during these times. It can be frustrating and it can also lead to other things. So today, I will be sharing five tips that I use to stay motivated. Tip number one is what I call setting goals. Now, these goals don't have to be long-term. They can be short-term goals. So for example, what is it do I want to achieve this week? So I would get a, a journal and I would write these ideas down. Number one, maybe finish marking certain scripts. Number two, finish reading that book. Number three, set a test. You know what I mean. So you set goals that are manageable and you keep checking on them. Each time you accomplish one, you tick that one off so that you can move on to the next. So number one, keep setting goals that are manageable. Number two is what I would call exercise. You know you have to do some sort of physical activity. So because of the pandemic, many of us are not allowed maybe to go to our gyms. So what you can do is use the space that you have inside your home, your stairs. You can walk around the house. You know what I mean? But do regular exercises to keep the blood flowing in your body to keep that brain fully functioning you know what i mean so get up off that chair maybe for five minutes do some squats you know just about any or everything will work number three i would say that we do not give ourselves enough credit so oftentimes when we accomplish something the small things don't celebrate them so i'm here to tell you that celebrating the small things in your life it matters so at the end of the week after you do a little reflection you can tick off your list that guess what i was able to finish reading that book i was able to finish setting that test i was able to complete so and so you know what i mean so again celebrate the small things that you have going on in your lives don't wait for the big moments celebrate the small ones number four is what i always come back to in many of my videos i always say that we need to have a strong support system behind us now oftentimes when we are going through things we can't handle it alone so it's always good to have those positive influences in our life those people who have our back regardless of what is happening so again if you have a friend, it could be a family member, it doesn't matter. But always surround yourself with positivity. Ignore the naysayers. Ignore the noise that is taking place around there. That, that's not your concern. Focus on the positives that you have going on in your life. And number five, this is the one that is a problem. Asking for help. Guys, we are not so big that we can't ask somebody to help us out. Nothing is wrong or you should never be ashamed to reach out to someone if you're not coping, if you're not doing well. If you need help, you have a colleague, you have a friend, reach out to that individual. I think if somebody has your back regardless of what is happening, then that person will offer a helping hand. So again today, Please do not feel ashamed in reaching out and asking for help. So let me use this opportunity to wish you all a safe, a healthy, and a productive week ahead. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye now.